cabinet of Dr. Caligari has just been like remastered and just came out in Berlin. It was considered to be the first kind of horror film and the first film to have that twist at the ending. Made just after the First World War, which is an interesting time to be creating art and an interesting sort of social atmosphere. Everything in the film builds towards creating this disjointed, angular, um, and slightly nightmarish world. It's just beautifully made, really. It's a, it's a wonderful example of early silent cinema. Compass is an arts organisation. We um, started eight years ago now and were set up to run a film festival initially and we've developed from that starting point into more of a multi-arts organisation where we're looking at doing events that kind of draw on lots of different artistic elements. Caligari Experience is an immersive theatre production based around the cabinet of Dr Caligari. We've re-edited the film across three screens and we're projection mapping a large stage set around the dancers and performers to help expand the film's world. The three screens are brilliant because it allows us to have a focal point which gives it the sense of a classic cinema experience but also we can at any point we like extend out of that space. It's not necessarily the characters from the movie coming out of the screen, but it's like people that could inhabit this kind of world. For us in Limbic Cinema and Compass, that's one of the things we all really love to do, is, is creating environments that people can get lost in a bit. We used Minima as, a, as the starting point, and that kind of informed a lot of the atmosphere. I think the beauty about something like this is that each of the multimedia elements will um, enhance the others and so the whole production will become much, much more than the sum of its parts. I think it's really important with events marketing that what you do reflects the nature of the project. I made cabinets. We dotted these all around Bristol and just left them there for people to find and come and find us on Twitter with the hashtag that they found there. Pursue the prophecy, you fools you die at dawn, hashtag the Caligari experience. I'm wondering what the prophecy relates to and if so I'm waiting for dawn to find out what happens. I wonder what the symbolism of the night is. Increasingly people are looking for an experience which is specific and which they can say, you know, I, I alone had this experience or me and the group of people in this room had that experience. And I think that's what the show does, you know, the fact that there's all of these live elements, so Limbic Cinema are doing their, their visual side live and Minima are doing it live and there's a live cast means you're never going to get exactly the same experience. It's not like just going and watching that film at the cinema. I like the screening in particular and the projection mapping and the way that synced in with the central screen and I thought the performance was excellent, particularly the, like, the acrobalance with the two, two suitors, you know, the two male characters and the, the female central character. I actually understood the content of the film a lot better when 
there was live action supporting it. It read a lot more clearly to me. Yeah, very exciting and uh, moving. Yeah, it was excellent. It was a genuine experience, you know, multi-sensory, you know, such powerful live score like that. You, know, you can't go wrong, it just drives it forward. I mean, it was extremely ambitious as an idea on the budget and in the time, but getting feedback from the artists and getting audience feedback, I would say we've more than achieved what we set out to, but it's just we want to, you know, continue on that path of making it even better. It's amazing to, to see how other people work and to take sort of energy from, from their ideas. It's shown us how to take something apart and put it back together again. It's an honour to, to be working with such a, a classic piece of cinema, really. To be given a chance to, to reimagine it a little bit.